to Ontario Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca, who's making an announcement about his party's community safety platform and plan to combat racism. Remarks around that particular piece of our platform, a piece of our platform that is so fundamentally important to me personally. There was a line in my remarks where I referenced that my core belief, my core mission, the reason I'm in this race, the reason we are working so hard is because we believe passionately in expanding opportunity for all Ontarians. And you heard just a moment ago from Adil that still in our province today, there are far too many Ontarians who are held back, who are limited because we continue to face significant systemic racism, discrimination and hate in a province like ours. And that's not good enough. We need to do better. We need to make sure that we bring forward ideas and policies and that we pursue and implement the ideas that will literally level the playing field and make sure that, again, every single Ontarian has the kind of opportunity that I was so lucky in my life to have. I, I've, said, I've said this many, many times before. I think about my own daughters in the community, the neighborhood, the province that they're going to grow up in. I know that many of our candidates who have kids or grandkids feel the same way. As a team, we refuse. We refuse to not give every opportunity to the current and the next generation here in this province. And we've seen, we've seen sadly over the past four years, a number of examples when the Ford Conservatives had the opportunity to do the right thing and to stand up against racism and hatred and discrimination. They made the wrong decisions. I think back four years ago, when they began their cuts, their reckless cuts to the anti-racism directorate. I think about the fact that they made decisions in their earliest days in office to take what was a standalone responsibility in the anti-racism directorate and to move that responsibility and to house it with the ministry responsible for Ontario's prisons. They actually linked together the anti-racism directorate and that particular ministry. I think that was I think that was a completely reckless and unfortunate decision. I think about more recently, when they had an opportunity in the aftermath of the horrific tragedy that we saw in London in June of 2021 with the family that was literally killed while they were out for a walk. And we see rising levels of intolerance and hatred towards Ontario's Muslims and Jewish community and our Asian communities and so many others that when they had the opportunity to work closely with organizations like the National Council of Canadian Muslims to support and ultimately pass the Our London Family Act, that they chose not to get that job done. I think of all of these examples, and I understand clearly that the people of Ontario will have a very distinct choice to make over the next 42 days. A choice between an Ontario Liberal team that is committed to fighting racism, committed to dealing with discrimination and hatred and intolerance, with meaningful ideas and meaningful policies that will make sure that we are moving forward in the right way. And that's why I am so proud to be here today with this extraordinarily diverse team of candidates to announce the measures that Ontario Liberals will, if elected in 42 days, bring forward to make sure that we deal with these significant challenges. So first of all, I want to talk about our plan to fight systemic racism in our schools and in policing. I want to talk about how we're going to be reversed. Absolutely. Yes, for sure. I want, to, I want to talk about how we're going to be reversing those conservative cuts to anti-racism programs and, again, setting up Ontario and moving forward in the right direction. Specifically, this Ontario Liberal plan will end streaming in grades 9 and 10 in Ontario's publicly funded schools, grade 9 and 10. Secondly, we're going to be working closely with all of our police services across this province to hire more diverse and underrepresented police officers to come forward so that the people in this province who want to feel safe in their neighborhoods can see themselves, can see their families reflected in our police services. We're also going to be refreshing the Ontario Anti-Black Racism Strategy and we're going to be providing more funding to support black entrepreneurs and small businesses 
and $5 million to support black... Liberal leader sites. Stephen Del Duca making an announcement about his party's community safety platform and plan to combat racism. Uh, he may take some questions. We'll bring you back live if that happens.